parents, maybe you're used to just standing by and scratching your head as you watch your teen download apps and surf the web at lightning speed, but our next guest warns that you'd better keep up. Scott Steinberg joins us via Skype with some help. Good morning. Hey, how are you? I'm wonderful. So you're the creator of the new Modern Parents Guide series of high-tech parenting books. Tell us about your books and why they're such an important parenting tool. Well, what we've tried to do is offer some practical, real-world, actionable advice that families can take to restore a little bit of sanity to the household. Kids these days <laughs> growing up with technology and online connectivity, streaming media, all second nature. And so as parents, we have to understand that fundamentally changes the basic household rules. You've got things like online etiquette you have to worry about. You have to worry about who your kids are interacting with online. So really, tech needs to be part of the ongoing family discussion. And with the Modern Parents Guide series, what we try to do is offer some quick, actionable hints, tips, and advice that really get parents ahead of the Curve. And we've got some crazy stats here. Children aged two to five are now more able to play video games or download apps than tie their own shoes, and more than 75% of teens own cell phones. That's, that's the rumor, and uh, when it comes to tying their shoelaces, uh, obviously those don't come with touch screens, so I can understand <laughs> yeah. why. But, but what we do need to keep in mind, yes, you know, kids as young as two now have an online footprint. They say 80% of toddlers actually have pictures online that families have uploaded. So we really need to think about issues of privacy, the fact that preschoolers are getting plastic faux tablets and cell phones are being introduced to the iPhone and iPad. So really we need to be teaching them the basic rules of digital citizenship, how to use high-tech devices responsibly, be safe online from the earliest age. And if parents themselves don't understand how this works, there's no way they can teach their kids this. So exactly. what would you say is the biggest mistake parents make with technology and their kids? Well, we often find that the biggest mistake that they make is to ignore it, hope that it's going to go away, or they simply put the device in the kid's hands and then they forget about it. So really you have to understand that putting technology in a child's hands takes a running commitment from you as a parent yourself. Homework isn't just for kids, it's for adults alike, and so really you need to understand not only what types of content they're consuming, but how often they're doing it, who they're doing it with, and what online and public spaces, what their behavior is like there. So really, if you are going to give a kid a high-tech device, then you need to understand it's going to take a commitment, and it's going to take research, and it's going to take ongoing discussion and dialogue from yourself as well. And now let's talk about video games really quick. Your latest book in the series, The Modern Parent's Guide to Kids and Video Games. You say video games aren't all that bad. What do you mean by that? Well, what I mean by that is that we're finding out that they can actually be a better approach to learning, that they can teach dynamic problem solving, they can allow players to approach scenarios and see them from different perspectives, get different viewpoints on the world. Many games can encourage interest in science, geography, history, all sorts of real world subjects. Kids can actually go in these virtual environments and experiment in real life scenarios. They don't have to worry about being embarrassed or feel a fear of failure. So they right. actually can learn better as they play with them. So even games that aren't labeled as edutainment per se can actually have highly beneficial effects for kids. And, and you even see these motion controllers getting them up and moving and exercising. Awesome. Thank you for your advice. And you guys can get more tips on this. And you can download a copy of Scott's book for free at parentsguidebooks.com. Get more info on his series, and we will also link you up on our website, galtime.com, right now.